Those two electrical insect killers do not work anymore. They were very useful, especially the large one in killing mosquitoes. And after what happened to me last night from mosquitoes, I decided to repair them. I assumed that the tubes have burnt out, so I put replacements. Let's go ahead and replace their tubes and fix whatever problem might be found and use this chance to explain the science and technology within these instruments. tubes and how do they work okay so as you might see here you have the fluorescent tube it is actually uh, coated with some fluorescent powder inside and it has gases like argon and the mercury gas okay and it has two electrodes basically there are some coils there are actually wires of tungsten okay and it is connected to a starter, then to a uh, coil called ballast, electrical ballast or choke. There is also a capacitor and of course the main power supply. Now how does this work? First off, as you can see here, the uh, circuit will never be actually closed unless the starter is connecting those two wires here and here to electrodes, uh, electrodes making the full circuit actually closed which actually illuminate those two tungstens making too much heat and that heat actually makes the gadgets inside the fluorescent lamp become conductive and then the starter stops once they are conductive there is a power actually coming from the ballast which was actually stored continues to help to make the fluorescent lamp uh, now uh, illuminated. And once the power is cut off from here, you will have then to uh, actually use the help of the starter again, okay? The starter works like a switch that turns on for three seconds and then turns off. And that is exactly what the fluorescent tube needs. When the starter is on, the gas inside the tube incandescates or illuminates because of the heat and it will continue to heat up until it is damaged unless voltage is cut off. That's exactly what the starter is doing, cutting off. Okay, so before we continue, there's something very important I want to show you guys here. That actually, those capacitors here, okay, they are actually uh, saving uh, a very high charge of voltage. So there is a very high voltage here, so that it will use it to shock and kill the mosquitoes and the flies. So the best thing to do is, is to discharge actually this uh those capacitors like this you see guys <laughs> really really something very very dangerous but now it's safe okay so let's go ahead and open
let's just take them to the power to see the color of these two lamps. Okay, let's test them before we continue because maybe we'll color them also. Right? This is connected, so one, two, three. Okay, it didn't start. There must be something wrong. Is that because of the starters? Oh my god. Glad to find some at my storage. Let's go. Okay, so those are the four pieces of the uh, burnout starters. Okay. And those are the four pieces of the tubes that have been already burned out. I bought uh, the replacement from the shop for those uh, tubes. But for those uh, starters, I was lucky because I found in my storage those four new pieces. So, this is a type of S2, and sometimes it's called FS22. Let's open one from these uh, uh, damaged starters to show you how the starter is burned inside. And it's a good chance also to speak something about the composition of the starter and the function, also the types, because this is an educational channel, as I said. All right? So you can see very clearly that the gas inside actually is already uh, burning the plates and everything inside. Okay? So. In order to understand how does this is happening, actually, that's a nice chance also to uh, open a new one for comparing. Okay. So, you compare them to each other, you would see that the difference is clear here. A new one, an old burnt out one okay so to see the types you can see in the chinese type here it says this is an s2 which is from 4 to 22 watts and that's the type the first type sometimes it's called fs2 if we read it here in the new one here this one actually is a mark it's a new one it's a korean from CNR, famous CNR company for the fluorescent lamps. Anybody who's remembering the fluorescent lamps in the past in the 80s and 90s, when we actually were uh, dealing with them and used to uh, fix them. Uh, this was very common at that time. So the type here is FS2, sometimes FS22. Is it the same light as two here? This is the type which is actually dealing with the fluorescent tubes that are between 4 and 22 watts, okay? So, I think I will have to explain a little bit about this. I have to do some drawings uh, to explain how does it work. As you can see that there are two types of metallic plates inside this capsule here. And there is actually a, a gas called argon gas here. Why it is used? Because it is actually affected by the uh, voltage. So once there is a voltage here of uh, something like 120 or 220, whatever, voltage, that gas actually uh, becomes very hot, very fast hot, which will he actually heat the plates here and bend them so that they can connect to each other. So what happened? The current passed to the tubes, the tubes there. Inside the tube, the, uh, the heat becomes very high because of the uh, filament here, or the tungsten actually coil here and here, 
which actually heat up the uh, gas, which is the mercury gas inside, or some argon gas also, making it condensate or illuminate. And so the voltage actually here is a dropping because there is a short circuit that will cool actually the gas inside, which will cool also the metals, the plates inside. If you can see them, the plates, all right? And so it will separate from each other and will cut off the power, but the power will continue because it's now on here, okay? That is how this one is illuminated. If there is a problem like this, you can see the burn here, it actually fails to uh, illuminate. So this one will actually uh, repeat the process again and will actually uh, connect again. And this one will try to uh, illuminate, but it will fail. And this will continue, will continue damaging this one and damaging also the uh, starter. I think I will make some drawings uh, and I will uh, try to upload it. I'll give you the link on the description box, guys. For those people who likes to understand actually how does the starter works it's actually it's a tube and it's just the same like this tube here except the gas inside is actually mercury gas and there is a coil continuous coil between the two sides here while this one is only separated plates that's the only difference Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's it guys, yeah, so no need to change the color, let's go ahead and actually assemble it and see the other one there. So it doesn't have a cover from this side, it has only one cover here on this side okay so we'll make it one by using the cardboard I'll cut this and i hope it will work because all we need is to cover these wires for safety just like this Thank you.